So about a week or two ago, I posted a clip on my Instagram of some skate footage that I'd shot recently. And I got a lot of messages off people saying like, how did you do it? Now they're wondering how I did it because it was in 4x3 HD, not like VX, DVX, whatever it may be, HD 4x3. So this is basically just gonna be a quick run through of what I use, how I do it and all that stuff and like what you need to do when you get to the edit. Just to clarify, this is how I'm doing it. I'm sure there are other ways out there, but if you wanna pretty quick and easy way of doing it, this will be a good tutorial for you. I know there's other ways of like DSLRs and stuff like that, but this is gonna be talking about camcorders today and specifically the HPX 171. Now this is basically a 170, but you can do PAL and NTSC frame rates. So this is a bog standard one that's not got any modifications to it or whatsoever. It still shoots 16 by nine. And in fact, you can only shoot 16 by nine in HD. What you do need, however, to make the 4x3 effect possible is two things, well, three things actually. Firstly, you're gonna need a 72 mil spacer ring. Now you can get these off eBay for a couple of pounds, so nothing too difficult there, as you can see. You need one of these, and you also need, and this is the most important bit, kind of, is a 72 mil to 52 mil step down ring. Now, I went from 72 to 52 because I like the idea of it just being minus 20 instead of it being like, what, minus 13 or something like that, going from like 72 to 58 or whatever it is. I'm terrible at maths, as you can imagine. So you need these two things. And also, you're of course going to need a 52 mil or 58 mil fisheye. Now, this is the Capca slash Optica slash Deflens fisheye cells slash VX1000 market. Basically, this is an Optica or a Capca. You can get these online pretty easily. Um, quick side note, a lot of people have been messaging me asking about why they can't get a Capca. Well, when I messaged Capca, they actually told me that they've been having some stock issues and manufacturing issues and stuff like that. They are coming back. In the next couple of weeks, they will be back on sale. So you'll be able to get the 58s, 72s, all of those lenses. So get yourself a 52 or a 58 mil fisheye. And really, it's that's all you need to do. Put all of them together. Ah! Come on, there we go. <clears throat> get your fisheye on there. And there you go. You've got a four by three, HD setup. Now, this will still be shooting 16 by nine, and you'll look at this through the camera and think, my God, that looks hideous. So when you turn the camera on, you'll notice you've got this huge amount of vignette running along the 16 by nine frame. So I've got the four by three guides on, and it's very simple to uh, set up. All you do, press the menu, display setup, safety zone, four by three. Now, this is mainly useful if you're doing long lens because once you take the lens off, then you've got all the 16 by nine uh, frame to play with. So that means you can pan and scan in post. Say you didn't like the framing of a certain trick. Well, you can easily just pan it over because it's a 16 by nine frame, but you're only showing four by three of it. I know there's proper terms for it, but you get what I'm saying. So like I was saying, if you shot something and you didn't like how it looked or the framing was a tad off, you can just move it over a bit. You have that leeway. And say you wanted to have a little bit of movement in a static shot, you know, as an example, you can just add a little bit of movement, you know, keyframe it and you can have it going along. Be quite nice. So that's really all you need to do in the camera. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you've gone out, you've shot your kit with your camera, you know, with your fisheye and all that stuff. Now I'm gonna tell you how you work with it in your editing software. Now I'm, today I'm gonna to be using Adobe Premiere Pro. However, this will work with Sony Vegas, uh, Final Cut, Avid, if any of you are mad enough to edit a skate video on Avid. So I'm gonna to jump to the screen on my laptop. Hopefully it's not recording my face, nope. So I'm gonna just make a new project call it 4x3 HD test, nothing fancy. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a sequence. Hit that. Now I've already got a pre-made sequence uh, kind of setup already made, which is 1440 by 1080. Now that is 1080p, but in 4x3. 
Now I've got it set to 50p because that's what uh, my project I've been working on is being shot at. Everything else is bog standard, so I'm going to go with that. So remember, 1440 by 1080, whatever frame rate you're shooting, 50, 60. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's name this Big Bum Edit 01. Now I'm going to import me footage. So I'm going to just go with, I think this is a, a bale. So here's my clip, right? Now as you can see in the playback, you've still got those hideous massive vignette. Now, you could work with that. Don't know why you would. All you really need to do is drag it into your 4x3 HD timeline. Keep existing settings. Keep existing settings, I mean. And then click on it go to effect control or whatever you do, and you want to look for scale. Now that would be on Vegas and Final Cut. You can all do a scale, I'm pretty sure. If it can't, you've probably got a pretty bad editing software. So you go to scale, click on that, and I found 150 is spot on, and there you go. You've got a nice, clean, four by three video. Look at that. Now. Uh, the person I was taught this, Beltway, I'll leave a link to a video he did in 4x3HD, I believe he was using a 58mm lens. Now, if, if I remember correctly, that vignette he was getting with his camera, which was a HMC 150 with a 58mm, his vignette looked, I believe anyway, going off the top of my head, looked more like an MK1. With my setup, using the 52mm uh, fisheye, I've got a vignette which I'd say is close to a DVX with an MK2 zoomed fully out. Now I like that, I like that amount of vignette, it's incredibly wide, I, I actually think the DVX MK2 is probably the widest setup, I'm sure there'll be people out there who'll disagree, but for me this is perfect, this is a good amount of vignette, it's super super wide, almost annoyingly wide, you have to get super close, but if you want a little bit less vignette, Go with the 58mm, it's probably going to work out for you. And that's it. Piece of piss. Thanks for watching.